Hey guys, so if you uh, watched my very first video on immersion cooling, you know that I'm immersion cooling an S19J. Uh, I also have an Avalon 1246 uh, that I intended on immersion cooling as well, but uh, due to uh, the restrictive heat requirements, uh, I was unable to successfully run it in the tank with the S19 without buying a bigger heat exchanger. So what I've uh, decided to do today is take the miner out of the fluid. Uh, I'm gonna bring it out to my garage here. I'm gonna take it all apart and then I'm going to uh, clean it. So you need some sort of a solvent to do so. So you can actually get um, DS100, a dielectric solvent that's made by Engineered Fluids. I'm running Bitcool. That's probably your most optimal solution. I'm doing a little bit of trial and error here. I'm going to use a different product uh, that's going to be a lot cheaper and a lot quicker for me to get because I'd have to wait for shipping from the United States. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. So the product I uh opted to use is the CRC uh, electronics cleaner. I've read uh, numerous reviews online where guys are using these to clean the uh, guts of their desktop computers. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it for this application. However, I have used uh, this electronics cleaner as a degreaser uh, in an automotive setting before and it works really well. So as long as it's safe for your computer and it's degreasing is which is the, uh, exactly what I need, uh, then we shouldn't have any issues. and. Hopefully when it's all cleaned up, I can uh, fire it back up and it'll be good to go. Now I'm set up, I got my game plan. I'm gonna head inside of the basement, grab my miner, put on some old clothes and get to work. Let's see what happens.
Okay, everything has been taken apart and it's been de-oiled. Again, I use the CRC uh, Napa brand uh, QD electronics cleaner. Seemed to work really well. And I'll just give you a, a look. I've wiped everything down. I've hosed it all down with that cleaner and I would say, you know, 95% or better of the oil is off of all the components. I got her completely gutted down. And I ended up using a total of three cans of that cleaner. I think they're like eight bucks a piece. So, you know, 25 bucks Canadian, $20 USD. And uh, we should be back in business. You see a little bit of that white there. I know I've used it before that uh, certain materials, it'll just stain a little bit white, but it's no big deal. Everything looks nice and dry, nice and clean, oil free. Power supply unit. Everything's looking nice and dry and clean. And now all we have left to do is put it back together and fire it up. Okay guys, we got the Avalon Miner back inside. She's all cleaned up. We got her all hooked back up. And we're ready to start hashing. Let's fire it up. 